welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today, I am building out my arrows for whitetail season. This is the second year that I have built arrows specifically for whitetail, different than elk. I'm excited about this one because I'm reviving some old arrows. These are carbon arrows by Beeman. I believe they're called indigo. They're a 500 spine arrow. And the reason why I need to build and change these arrows is because I've decreased my poundage from elk season. My intention for this year was to go as high poundage as I possibly could for elk. And now that I'm into my whitetail season, I'm going to decrease that poundage, dial it down. I already have decreased it actually, but I just need arrows to shoot from it. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm very excited. I'm excited to sit down and drink a beer with you. I used to do fletching videos. Like there's one fletching video in particular that I can think of. It's when I lived in Idaho and it was probably the first or second set of arrows that I had ever tried to fletch myself. I was doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, just like hanging out, drinking a beer, and yeah, it's exciting. Okay, and hello, the fall is here, which is, hmm. It's like, it's wild how fast it all comes. So, first thing that I'm doing, Ratata. I'm gonna be doing a lot of things to these arrows. I need to cut them because back in the day when I was shooting these arrows, I didn't know anything about how long your arrow length should be. And now I'm pretty convinced that an inch shorter than your draw length is a perfect length for me. So my draw length is 28 and a half inches. I will be cutting these to 27 inches, but the insert is already glued in. So I'm going to pull the knockoffs, the knocks off. I'm going to remove the fletchings and cut them from this end. Then I'm also removing this hideous graphic with some nail polish remover. I think this is just acetone. Yeah, it's just acetone. And I'm gonna throw a quick clutch on. So anyway, without blabbering anymore, let's jump right into this. Oh. <laughs> okay, friends, let's get dirty. So I'm literally putting on an, an apron. I don't know why I put on white for this video. That was foolish, but I'm gonna wear my bib. And I have some gloves. Let's remove these hideous graphics. It is shockingly easy. All you need is some pure acetone and some paper towels. Definitely want some gloves. I had tested this last night on this arrow. Check that out. See how the graphic has started to be removed compared to what it looks like Normally, see that? But you definitely don't wanna get it on your hands. So you need gloves, pure acetone, paper towels, and a drink. And ideally some music as well, but YouTube demonetizes with good music, so. Welcome to my laboratory. dump it on there. I also have this plate down to prevent damage on this gorgeous table. Okay, so we'll go back into the one that I was working on yesterday. Wow. Rub, 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 rub. Look at that. Dudes. My dudes. So there's the before and there is the after. It is Super, super easy. All right, I'm gonna finish up the rest of these off camera <coughs> with some music. <laughs> look at how good all of those look. Everything is clean and gorgeous. Now it's time to defletch them. Nick actually just started on a couple while I was finishing taking off the graphics. My favorite way to do this is just to take a, uh, a butter knife and just yeah. 
Haya. So then there are these little strips that are still on there and then you just gotta keep working those off. Next step mm, is to remove the knocks. I feel it is safe to remove my bib, my apron. And now I'm gonna remove these knocks so that I can cut these arrows down. Let's hope these come out easy. Oh yeah. There you go. Now I have some Nike arrows and well, minus the inserts, the inserts are in there. Um, now we cut. Hi. You can just like hold this in place because it vibrates once I turn it on. You're gonna have to move. We can trim your toenails. Okay, so. This is one of my current elk arrows. I have measured this exactly. Without the knock-on, it's actually like just under 27 inches. So that is how much I cut off of each one. Mm. I'm gonna need another bear. So the fletchings I'm using are these guys right here. These are by NAP also, but they're called the Quick Fletch. And I have used these for a couple of years now. They are just so easy, so convenient. I love fletching my own arrows, but I also love that when it's mid-September and or mid-October or mid-November and you just need some help to get the job done quick, Quick Fletch is always here for you. So let's boil some water. So I'm putting on a broad head and then taking my Quick Fletch. And the purpose of the broadhead is to line up the, uh, I don't know if you would call it veins, but like each ridge of the broadhead. So there are like three blades. I'm going to line it up with the three fletchings. Um, and then my knock rotates. So I'll be able to then rotate my knock to line up with my odd colored um, vein. So that looks pretty good like that and then I will line it up with the edge okay. like that and like that I may have to uh, tilt that twist it Take boiling water, pour it into large mug, and then we'll dip the quick fletch right into there. Check it out. So all of my arrows are complete. They're looking fresh. Let's weigh one of these bad boys. So I have my scale zeroed. Ah, 280. So with a 100 grain broadhead, that brings this arrow weight to 380. The arrow that I was shooting was 445, I believe. So we are down, what, 45, 55, 65. We are down like 65 grains, which will make a huge difference with being down uh, like five pounds in bow poundage. That is it for this video. Oh, this is Nick's arrow. He's shooting a full metal jacket, 340 spine, 
we just put these hat little quick fletches. He picked orange and his Knox glow red. Let's see what his arrow feels much heavier. I'm going to guess, uh, yeah, yeah, 460. Ooh, you got that good front of center. Damn, you are at 505 with a field tip. So I'm at 380, like with my 100 grain broadhead, you're at 505 with your field tip, which is actually an excellent weight with your um, bow poundage. Let's see if You works. could even go a little heavier if you wanted, but. 506. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that is something I forgot to do. I normally like weigh each component. So that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hunting season is here. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna finish my drink, finish having a good time, and I'll see you guys in the next one.